Hi, it's Miss Erin from the Saranac Clarksville District Library. Welcome to Virtual Storytime. Are you guys all ready to go? All right, let's start. Hi friends, it's so nice to see you today. Are you ready for a super exciting virtual story time? I hope so. All right, if you've been to story time before, you know our song. Are you ready? If you want to read a book, clap your hands. If you want to read a book, clap your hands. If you want to read a book, sit down and take a look. If you want to read a book, clap your hands. If you want to read a book, stomp your feet. Stomp, stomp. If you want to read a book, stomp your feet. Stomp. If you want to read a book, sit down and take a look. If you want to read a book, stomp your feet. Stomp, stomp. If you want to read a book, sit and go shh. If you want to read a book, sit and go shh. If you want to read a book, sit down and take a look. If you want to read a book, sit and go shh. Okay, good job everyone. All right, so our first book is called The Artist Who Painted a Blue Horse by Eric Carl. Look at that horse, he's blue. The Artist Who Painted a Blue Horse. I am an artist and I paint a blue horse and you guys gonna help me with the colors a red crocodile and A yellow cow. I don't know if I've ever seen a yellow cow. And a pink rabbit. What? And a green lion. And what animal is that? And what color is he? It's an orange elephant. And what color is that? Is that purple? And that's a fox. Hmm, have you guys ever seen a purple fox? I haven't, but it would be awesome. And, where's that? Black, a black polar bear. Hmm, what color are polar bears usually? Hmm, are they white like snow? Hmm. They are. And a polka dot donkey. How, this book is crazy. I am a good artist. Do you think he's a good artist? Painted lots of colorful animals. The end. Good job, everyone. Good listening. All right, so we're gonna do a super fun rhyme with our hands. All right, do you guys know Five Little Monkeys? It's a good one, one of my favorites. All right, so you can follow along with me. All right, and if you don't know it at first, that's fine because we'll do it again later. It's great. All right, here we go. 
Five little monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, no more monkeys jumping on the bed. Four, one, two, three, four little monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, no more monkeys jumping on the bed. Three little monkeys, one, two, three, jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, no more monkeys jumping on that bed. What's next? Two little monkeys. One, two, jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, what do you say? No more monkeys jumping on the bed. One little monkey, one, jumping on the bed. He fell off and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, no more monkeys jumping on the bed. Zero, zero monkeys jumping on the bed. None fell off and bumped their head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, put all those monkeys, one, two, three, four, five, back to bed. Good job, guys. Did you get to follow along at the end? Good, I'm so glad. All right, we have another book to read. All right, and this book, it's about a dog. It's called Roy Digs Dirt by David Shannon. Do you guys have a dog at home? Does your dog like to dig? I have a dog that likes to dig. He's pretty good at it. Roy Digs Dirt. Roy digs dirt. He digs dirt before breakfast, after lunch, and before and after dinner. Look at all that dirt. He's a busy dog. Dirt makes Roy happy. Roy is almost always happy because he is almost always dirty. Roy sits in dirt, he lies in dirt, and sometimes he rolls around in dirt. Roy digs dirt. Roy thinks dirt makes him look handsome. Do you think dirt makes Roy look handsome? Pretty handsome dog. Roy likes to bury things in the dirt. He buries balls, sticks, chew toys, squeaky toys, bones, rocks, pieces of bark, and rawhide twisties. Sometimes he just buries more dirt in the dirt. Roy digs dirt. Look at all those toys he buries. Roy even finds buried treasure in dirt. Buried treasure is exciting. Look at all that treasure. Exciting for him. Roy eats dirt. 
He sniffs dirt. He watches dirt and listens to dirt. Worms and bugs hide in the dirt, but not for long. Look at Roy, he's got that worm. Roy's imaginary friend lives in the dirt too. He plays with it and talks to it. Roy named his imaginary friend Roy. Look, his imaginary friend made out of dirt. The only bad thing about dirt is ants. Roy does not dig ants. Look, he's covered in them. Oh no, oh no! And when it rains, Roy digs mud. Mud might be even better than dirt. Mud is like dirt gravy. Look how muddy he is. Roy does not dig baths. Baths are the opposite of dirt. Does your dog like baths? Mine does not. When there isn't any dirt, Roy digs rugs. He digs blankets when he's in bed and he digs newspapers when he's mad. Oh no. Roy doesn't like being away from his dirt, so he digs at the back door. The jungle grows out of the dirt in the backyard. In the dirt, the jungle is moist. It smells good too. Roy likes to explore the jungle. It's a good place to hide. Can you see Roy in that picture? Where is he? Is he over here? Up here? Hmm. Oh, is that him right there? It is! <gasps> Pounce! Oh my goodness! <gasps> Look at Roy! <sighs> Critters come to the jungle when it gets dark. Roy barks, get away from my dirt! Roy digs barking at critters. Does your dog bark at critters? Mine does. We live out in the woods, so there are a lot of critters for my dogs to bark at. What kind of critters does your dog bark at? Hmm. Do they bark at squirrels? Do they bark at other dogs? Do they bark at people even? Hmm. I bet there's a lot of things that dogs can bark at. Tonight, there's a skunk. Oh my God, there he is. In the jungle. Now Roy's dirty and stinky. Has your dog ever got sprayed by a skunk? Or have you ever smelled a skunk spray? It smells terrible. Pee-you. Also, do you guys remember how much Roy hates baths? Oh my goodness. At night, Roy digs in his sleep. Look at his little paws going. Every morning he runs outside to see if his dirt is still there. It's the same dirt but it seems brand new to Roy. The whole world is built on top of dirt. So Roy digs the world. The end. Oh, that was a good book. A good book about dogs. Okay, so you're new to story time, then you don't know that this is new. But if you've been to story time before, Miss Erin has a new
new thing she's going to try. It's called a felt board. All right, let me roll it right here so we all can see. There we go. Perfect. And I think, I think I'm going to sing a song with it about animals. All right. So can you guys guess maybe what song we're going to sing? I have some pieces I'm going to put on the board and clues so we can guess. Okay. Hmm. Let's put this one up first. What is that? Is that a barn? Where are barns? Do, are barns usually on, on a farm? What song can you guys think of that is about a farm? Let's see. Who could this be? Who could own that farm? Is that Old McDonald? Do you guys know Old McDonald has a farm? All right, I hope you do, but if you don't, that's okay. Just listen at first, and then you can follow along later, or just enjoy us singing. All right, so Old McDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O, and on that farm he had a, what animal is that? A cow, E-I-E-I-O, with a moo moo here and a moo moo there, here a moo, there a moo, everywhere a moo moo, old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O, and on that farm he had a what's this animal it's a duck e-i-e-i-o with a what noise does a duck make quack quack here and a quack quack there here quack there quack everywhere quack quack old mcdonald had a farm e-i-e-i-o and on that farm, he had a, what's that one? A pig! E-I-E-I-O With a oink oink here and an oink oink there Here an oink, there an oink, everywhere an oink oink Old MacDonald had a farm E-I-E-I-O And on that farm, he had a a sheep, E-I-E-I-O, with a ba ba here and a ba ba there, here a ba there a ba everywhere a ba ba. Good job. <laughs> Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. And our last animal is a what is that? It's a cat. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O, and on that farm he had a cat. He probably had several cats. E-I-E-I-O, with a meow, meow, here, and a meow, meow, there. Here a meow, there a meow, everywhere a meow, meow. Old MacDonald had a farm. E-I-E-I-O. That was a good job, guys. It looks like a nice farm old McDonald has. All right, I'm gonna roll this back so we can read one last book together today. All right, let's do this. Okay. Get that out of the way there. Okay, so our last book is called Ravi's Roar by Tom Percival. All right. All right, there's Ravi. 
Ravi's Roar. Ravi was the youngest and the smallest in his family. Everyone was bigger than him. Get closer so you can see. Oh, wait, he's the smallest. Even Biscuits the dog. Most of the time, being the smallest was great. But sometimes, just sometimes, it wasn't. One day, Ravi and his family went on a picnic. There was a race to the train. And guess who came in last? Can you see right there? Ravi. Everyone else got a comfy seat, but Ravi had to squeeze in with Dad and Biscuits. And then, oh no, what's that? Biscuits made a bad smell. Oof. When everyone got to the park, they played hide and seek. It was meant to be fun, but Ravi couldn't find anyone. At the playground, the monkey bars were too high. The gaps between the logs were too high wide and when Ravi wanted to go on the big slide the man said sorry son you're too small Ravi got so mad his face turned red but then dad said come on let's get ice cream look how mad Ravi Everybody ran off. Guess who came last? Ravi. And then when Ravi went to get his ice cream, there was none left. Well, that really did it. Oh no. Oh no. Ravi was furious. He growled, and a stripy tail popped out from the back of his shorts. Then he sprouted two furry ears, sharp pointy teeth, and stripy orange fur. Ravi had turned into a tiger. The tiger took a huge, deep breath, and what happened? <gasps> Roared! Oh gosh, he's so mad. Do you guys get mad sometimes? I know I get mad sometimes. Ravi's brother looked a bit nervous and handed the tiger his ice cream. When the tiger went to sit down, there were no open benches, so he roared and everybody got out of the way. It was great being a tiger. Do you guys agree? Do you guys think it was great? I don't know. The tiger did all the things that Ravi couldn't. He swung across the monkey bars. He leaped across the logs. He even slid down the big slide. And nobody dared to say no. I don't know, is that good? So the tiger went wild. Look at that. 
He roared and growled and did exactly what he wanted. But soon he found that nobody wanted to play with him. Did no one want to play with him because he wasn't being very nice, roaring at people? Oh no. Suddenly, the tiger felt a bit sad and nowhere near as angry. In fact, he couldn't quite remember what had made him so angry in the first place. I'm sorry, said the tiger in a quiet voice. And when he said that, everything felt better. That's okay, said Dad. Good job for saying sorry. And then, without even realizing, Ravi became a boy once more. And that was the last time that Ravi ever turned into a tiger. Although every now and then, he did have a bit of a growl. The end. All right, good job listening, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed story time here at the Saranac Clarksville District Library. I'm so glad you could join me today. And I can't wait to see all my friends next week. Thanks.